Hey everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City UK lab. I'm very glad you've joined us today for another installment of Mojax tries to make a video about cables look visually interesting. Let's get into it. I'm going to keep this fairly short. I do understand that cables are not exactly exciting, but they are incredibly important. I've had gigs ruined by one bad cable, and I'm sure that the same will apply to many of you who are watching this. What you're looking at is a pile of Oyad Neo D Plus cables. They are not cheap, in fact they're pretty much the most expensive cables designed for DJing on the planet. Most of the ones I have are the more budget green and white Class B, the most affordable option the company make, but I do have some orange Class A RCAs. And when I say expensive, I mean it. The 1m Class B RCA cables have a street price of around $40 each. The pack that the company sell with two RCAs, a USB cable and a case for around $100 is their best value option, but that's still quite a lot per cable. So why am I here today recommending, which I'm about to do, that you should buy these things? Is it because of sound quality? Absolutely not. Yes, with very high-end sound systems, better quality RCAs will sound better than super cheap ones. Is that going to be noticeable for the average working DJ working with average venue sound systems? No, it won't. And when it comes to USB cables, I remain unconvinced that any cable will make a difference to sound outside of the rarefied atmosphere of an audiophile hi-fi setup, and maybe not even then. So, why spend all that money? Because these cables last. They really do. Amongst my pile are the first set of RCAs and the USB cable, which I reviewed back in April 2015. Since then, for nearly half a decade, they've gone with me to almost every gig, and they have not been looked after at all. It's not my job to look after things, it's my job to try and break stuff. In that five years, I've picked up a bunch more. Longer RCAs, XLRs, and most recently, an RCA to mini jack. Some of them, the UK distributor has given me to test, and others I've bought for myself. And not a single one of the Oyade cables I've used has ever developed a fault in any way. No fiddling with plugs to get a connection, no broken plugs, no fraying, nothing. No weird interference or dropouts with the USBs, just reliable performance every single time. The reason that I'm revisiting this range today is that the company have recently dropped their new USB-C to USB-B cable for hooking up your DJ kit to laptops with USB-C or Thunderbolt 3 ports. They come in 0.7 meters, 1 meter and 2 meter lengths. I've had some here for a few weeks and I've tested them with Macs and my Schenker Slim Windows machine and performance is, as expected, spot on. That's my review of those, just as good as the rest. Simple, really. I'm never here to be completely uncritical of anything, of course, so there are two negative points I will make at this juncture. Firstly, when I posted about the USB-C cables on social media, a few people pointed out that the packaging is anything but eco-friendly. And I must agree. Super excessive, even for the longer cables. It's 2019, we really don't need cardboard and two different plastic trays to package a cable, thanks Oyade, so I hope they can change that up in the future. The second point is more of a practical one. For whatever reason, the Neo cables often don't play nice with analog turntables, especially internally grounded ones. I generally prefer right angle cables to use with turntables anyway, as I set them up battle style, and the plugs are very long on the Oyades, but it's worth pointing out. If you're after upgraded RCAs for your turntables, I found the DJ Tech Tools Chroma ones work well, although they have long plugs too. I think those big plugs are a part of the reason the Oyad range are so durable. I kind of prefer the ones on the cheaper green and white Class B cables, to be honest, because they're completely one piece. The higher end cables are still really solid underneath, but they do have a separate piece on the outside, which could be a potential failure point. Another reason the Neos last so well is that the cables are all flat, so they're super hard to get tangled up. The individual sides can get a touch twisted after a while, especially if you throw them in a bag without coiling them up properly, as I usually do, but that has no impact on performance or durability. I also really like the movable strain relief pieces too, you can position them wherever you like along the cable to fit your setup perfectly. So, in conclusion, there are other good cables for DJs out there, often cheaper. The aforementioned DJ Tech Tools ones are great, UDG have some new USB cables which I'm testing right now. And it's always going to be the case that if you have soldering skills, making your own cables with high quality parts is a great way to go. But if, like me, you don't have those skills, then the Oyad Neo D Plus range truly is a really solid investment, once you get over the initial sticker shock. So there you go, a long-term perspective on the Oyade Neo range of cables and a look at their new USB-C options, which are essential for a lot of modern laptops. I don't have much more to add really. As I've said, some of these cables have been with me almost every gig for almost five years. Not a single one of them has developed any kind of fault in any way. They are 100%
solid and reliable. And when it comes to DJ cables, that is the main thing. Put everything else aside. Are they reliable? Are they gonna last you? And these absolutely are. Yes, the upfront cost is pretty high. You wanna invest in them, it's gonna cost you a lot. But you start to break that down over the course of four, five, or even six years of use, then the value proposition looks very good indeed. These are a wholehearted recommend from me. If you want high quality cables that you know are going to last, then Oye Neo is a fantastic choice. Thank you for watching today. Make sure you subscribe and you hit that bell icon down below to get notified anytime there's a new video from myself or the rest of the DJ City team. I'll see you soon.